Usually for these videos I make some kind of intro, but this time we go in raw. You read the title, you know what this is about. Can you beat Skyrim at Legendary at level 1? For those of you that don't know what this means, at Legendary difficulty I deal a quarter of the damage and the enemies deal me 3 times the damage and have to stay at level 1. In short, most of the fights are impossible, but not for me. I hope. I could spend words describing how difficult or frustrating this run is, but this little clip is enough to explain how I felt for all of it. Subscribe to the channel to balance out how much I suffered here. I start the game on the way to my execution. The difficulty is on legendary, but you'll be able to notice it. I choose an imperial because their power calms enemies around and I'll need it later. It's debatable if the orc was a better choice. Tell me in the comments what do you think. I avoid being beheaded. And in hindsight, it was not a good thing to happen. I run around the city without being killed and this time it actually is a possibility. I get a weapon and some armor and there is the first fight. Mind you, this is how the difficulty is supposed to be. The fact that I'll be at level 1 all the run isn't relevant yet. It takes a few trials, but I managed to win. I think this fight is there to put the fear of God in me. It worked. For the rest of the dungeon, I let my allies take the damage, and they swing only when it's safe. I mean, except for when I got arrogant with the spiders and got destroyed. We get out in one piece. Next stop, Riverwood. Where I enhance my armor a bit because I need all the help I can find. Also wolves almost kill me, but you got the point, it's tough. Since I will be playing at level 1, I won't be able to find or buy decent weapons. So as soon as I get to a white run, I steal an elven bow, an elven warhammer and an elven sword. I got lucky with lock picking and I didn't even have to reset. Also, maybe this is obvious, but I didn't and won't use exploits, such as clipping to get into the merchant's chests. If a run has to be hard, I have to go all in. I get to the Jarl to inform him about the dragon situation. He sends me to get a stone in a cavern. Said cavern is full of enemies. At first I try to fight them outside, but it doesn't go as planned. I then decide to use my secret technique, run as fast as I can because they won't follow me. I get inside and after a couple of trials I manage to defeat the two bandits sitting there. Up until the giant spider it's all pretty standard. But the spider is the first headache of the run. If I get hit by the Venom, I lose 90% of my health. Being in melee combat uh, is suicide. I didn't want to fight like a wimp, but it's the only choice that preserves my mental health. And it doesn't preserve it that well. With 4 arrows left, I win the fight, but I managed to salvage some from the corpse. I free the guy that was shouting for all the fight, kill him, and proceed onward. I can survive one hit on a good day from this Draugr. The best choice is to keep on running and dodging. I reach the Draugr Overlord and I can 100% say that this fight is Todd Howard telling me not to proceed with the run. I have never been the listening type. This fight took way too much time. You can clearly see that I deal basically no damage, but I can tank one hit, so that's positive. To win this fight, I try to stay on the upper platform and force him to follow me around if he gets too close. All of that while dodging his attacks and poking when it's safe. This is doable only because I can quick save every time I deal a bit of damage. After many, 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 many many trials, I win the fight and take the stone. Also, since when he deals that much damage shouting? My main concern is that for now it was ok being at level 1, but from now on you are supposed to have skills and it's going to be rough. As soon as I get back, the city is attacked by a dragon, but this time I learned my lesson and I have some arrows with me. As usual, the city guards deal a good amount of damage. But still I have to stay far away from the dragon and hide, because one single fire breath kills me 
and for the first time in my life, I see all of the guards dead against this dragon. I help with the bow and we win the fight with only me, Ireleth and a guy hidden in a tower alive. Nobody's there to tell me that I'm the dragonborn. Some old sages summon me on top of a mountain. I take a ride to Riften, steal a horse and avoid all the enemies on my way to the top. The frost troll is not killable at this point of the run. Or at later points of the run, for that matter. I meet the sages and they teach me shots that I can actually use in this run. They send me to retrieve a horn in a dungeon. I reach the dungeon and I do what I can do best, run between enemies as fast as I can. My running technique is good, but the drug here are adapting. Some of them can use a frost magic on me that not only slows me and drains my stamina, it also kills me in 2 seconds. I have to use the whirlwind sprint shout to avoid being killed. I can avoid a good chunk of the dungeon by jumping off a cliff, but many among you are probably thinking that I'm going backwards a bit to get the become ethereal shout, a power that makes me invincible for a good 8 seconds, but I will not be using that shout. Why I hear you ask? Do I find it not fair? Overpowered maybe? <laughs> Not at all, the reason is far superior. I forgot to take it and when I remembered uh, it was too much of a hassle going back. I avoid the remaining enemies, die in a trap and discover that the horn was stolen before I could. The thief left their address there so I can go and meet them. The thief was actually Delphin, this is what she does in a world without sims. She gives me the horn and we go together to kill a dragon. It isn't a surprise that this fight was hard, but if I stay really far away and attack with a bow while she tanks the damage, it's doable. I only had to reset a couple of times. It still takes a really long time. Also Delphin decided to book it at the end. Maybe you didn't catch what happened, but our amazing technology can slow down time. My PC isn't that good, I don't know if you noticed. I win the fight and my next step is to enter an embassy and find out what the high elves know about the dragon situation. This part is why I chose the imperial, I can, as always, run around dodging swords almost flawlessly. But when you reach the last room of the embassy a small army is following you and you have to kill a guard in order to take a key and escape. But if you use the imperial power they stop fighting for a whole minute, you can sneak and steal the key and you are outside without having to kill anyone, and without killing the horde at the end that I still can't defeat. We discover that the elves knew nothing, but this time no war crimes were committed, so it's all good, no beef. My next step is to find an old friend of Delphin. I would usually say no, but she's my favorite e-girl and I have to obey. He's in the sewers of Riften. So I go in there, start to think about fighting the enemies and remember why I don't do it. This part was quite tough because the rooms are small and the corridors are narrow, so I can't dodge as I usually would, also I didn't want to waste the special power. I get beat a couple of times. Well, maybe more than a couple, but I managed to reach Esbern. He follows me and this time we run outside using the power without dying too much. Now we have to find a shout to defeat Alduin, the big bad evil dragon, so we have to go in an ancient temple. Luckily the enemies are all outside so we can enter the cave without any worries. The three guys inside still almost kill us, I swear every time I get a bit cocky the game puts me in my place. The rest of the dungeon doesn't involve fighting so I won't show it. We discover that there is a shout that can help us. But most importantly, I get a decent armor and a good sword. I go and speak to the sages that tell me to go even higher on the mountain, because higher means sager. I shot at the fog for a while and find a dragon living there. He tells me that I need a scroll to learn the shout, but I'm thinking that it's the first time that I can actually shout at him without justifying why I have to do it. The guy living in an ice cave is still in the same ice cave and he points me towards the Elder Scroll, that is of course situated in a ruin full of deadly enemies. 
The first part of the dungeon is pretty standard for this run. I have to, well, run, and if enemies get too close I use the sprint shout to avoid them. At this point I don't even try fighting, they are tough in a normal run. At level 1 I have no chance. The second part has enemies that can use ranged attacks, and if one arrow hits me I die. Like this time, where I got so much damage that my game crashed multiple times. I fix the problem and I can proceed. Obviously I have to run around and dodge attacks. What I have to do is basically quick save and keep on doing the same route until I get lucky enough to survive. Enemies here have the frost magic so I have to use my stamina and my shouts perfectly. After some trials I managed to get in the next room where an army is following me and I have to pull a lever in order to open a gate but I have to kill a big robot in order to proceed. I am prepared so I have an invisibility potion, because the Dwarven Centurion and the Ugly Elves are in different factions, and this means that they fight each other. My potion doesn't last long, but once they are fighting, they keep fighting. This fight lasts so long that I start to doubt it being mandatory and I go and check the gate, and to my surprise I discover that you can simply walk to the door and open it, there is no key. I played Skyrim countless times and for some reason I always thought you had to take the core from the Centurion's body. Don't bully me in the comments. I proceed and Black Reach is pretty easy, I just have to walk and avoid being 360 no scoped from across the map. Oh well. I reach the final chamber, solve the puzzle and take the Elder Scroll. Now I can read the scroll, watch a cutscene and fight Alduin. After some thinking I decided I can allow myself to have some help in this fight, so I go and recruit Lydia. I watch the cutscene while she stands there watching me and we fight Alduin. The problem in this fight is not that if he fires breath at me I die, or that I can only fight with ranged weapons, but that he has a shout that makes meteors fall from the sky. I have a shout that clears the weather, but I have to use a shout to make him land, and if I remove his meteors, he gets up and flies around before I can shout at him again. Every time he does that, I throw away at least a minute, and sometimes he makes meteor fall while he is in the air, or first thing when he lands. At one point he stopped using his shouts and simply attacked Lydia in melee. I didn't waste my chance, and after far too much time, he was defeated. He cannot be killed here though, so he flies away and I have to follow him. But first I thank Lydia and send her back home. In order to reach Alduin I have to capture a dragon, and to do that I have to stop the ongoing civil war. This part of the game is boring, so don't worry about it. I collect dragon and manage to imprison him, he takes me to the last dungeon of the game. I am stuck with arrows and food and potions and I am ready to do this. First of all. If I get hit, I get sent to the Shadow Realm, so as always I have to dodge enemies and magic, without wasting shouts or stamina. There are also two dragons here, but fighting was out of the question either way. After many trials I managed to get inside, where on top of the dodging I have to solve puzzles. I normally don't show much about this part, with it being less known and wanting to get to the final fight. But I spent so much time here that I have to dedicate some time to this dungeon. The combination of a drug that uses magic and one that makes a super long animation to get through the door was deadly, but I managed to reach the boss of the dungeon. I have to beat this guy in order to obtain a key. Luckily he is in a corridor so long that by the time he walks through all of it he forgot why he was here. I kill him with a bow, find a strong shout and the dungeon is cleared. Once I am outside I can simply run through the portal before the priest closes it. Now I can almost smell the victory. In order to rally the heroes and defeat Alduin I have to do one last fight against Thun, that is arguably the toughest enemy in the game. He can shout, moves and attacks fast, deals ton of damage and on top of that he is shirtless and 7 feet tall. He wants to be sure that I am worthy. At first I tried to fight him with honor, but then I decided it's not worth it 
and I ran from him until I managed to lure him on top of a mountain, where in a previous video I discovered he always gets stuck. Here I use my bow and the shot I just got in the last dungeon, that attacks my enemies with lightning, to defeat him. Finally, I can reach the heroes of Skyrim. Together we run outside to fight Alduin once and for all. I try to convince Thun to join us, and when a meteor hits him, he decides that he has had enough. The five of us fight Alduin. They take the damage and I throw arrows. And he falls one last time. Nothing can rob us of this victory. Oh, come on! As I said, nothing can rob us of this victory if I clear the sky after he dies. You can clearly see that I am level 1. And I will say that you can beat Skyrim with legendary difficulty at level 1. If some of you want proof that I didn't change the difficulty at some point, you can clearly see how much damage I took. I showed all the difficult parts of the run. If you did this challenge yourselves, let me know how it went in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like or even subscribe. I see you next time. Well, you'll see me. See the video at least. Why do I always mess up the outro?